No longer just a side dish of little consequence, rice is increasingly taking a star turn on many American dinner plates. And here to tell us more is WSJ reporter Sarah Nassar. Sarah, thanks so much for being with us. What are some of the varieties of rice that are popular right now? Those that are growing the most are things that you probably didn't grow up on. We all ate a lot of long grain white rice, at least I did growing up in the Midwest. And now jasmine, uh, basmati, blends, red, black, wild rice are gaining in popularity. They're gaining popular. I grew up on a lot of rice myself, being half Cuban. Rice and black beans was a staple. Yep. And there is sort of a wider acceptance of ethnic cooking, correct? Yeah, this is one of these things. The why to me is the most interesting part. There's demographic shifts. Mm -hmm. Hispanic, Asian populations are the fastest growing right, ethnic groups in the U.S. In general, we're, ethnic food is more mainstream, especially amongst young consumers. And so people are looking for real jasmine rice or real basmati. And so the prices are also going up a little bit with these fancier yeah, varieties. Some of the prices, there's a much wider variety of mm -hmm. prices in that rice aisle than you saw a few years ago. And so tell us about how rice retailers are responding to this. They must be excited about it. Finally, finally, rice is exciting. <laughs> yes, some of the retailers said, who guessed this would have ever happened? Um, but yeah, no, they're coming out with new products. One of the companies that I talked to, Amira, is an Indian company, and they're very excited to be able to finally sell their basmati, they hope, in sort of mainstream grocers in the U.S. Right, and how much of the popularity is based on the fact that rice is naturally gluten-free? That's also pushing this. Gluten-free sales, of food sales, are still continuing to rise, and rice is gluten-free, so they're slapping that in as many parts of the package as they possibly can. But isn't it <laughs> tricky to cook, though? Some of these, I, you know, I, rice in and of itself is not that tricky, but they all have different cooking times and the yeah. water to rice. For the ratio. uninitiated, rice is seen as a pretty tricky thing and t that it takes a long time. I think that's changing. As rice, you know, people that eat a lot of rice are becoming more uh, popular in the country, more people know how to cook rice and are sort of passing it along to their friends. So it's starting to change. A lot of these companies are pushing rice cookers, which they say is the easy way to do it. And you say that some of them are actually giving them away for free? Yes, there's a lot of <laughs> free rice cookers being handed out on Facebook and other social media right now. And where are some of the places people can go to get some of these fun recipes for the more exotic rice dishes? They're everywhere. Right now, the internet is filled with recipes um, on everything. So I you can, you can find a million rice recipes right now if you're looking. I love it. Being Cuban, moros y cristianos, which translates to moors and Christians, is what we call <laughs> rice and black beans. So I love yeah. I grew up with you're this helping. stuff. You're helping. I love it. Thank you so much, Sarah, for that. Thank you.